With the academic year underway, the Asia-Pacific Institute of Applied School of Economic and Technical Studies has been busy enrolling students for the last two weeks. Today we caught up with the school's founder and director, Thomas Pilagamu, who is passionate about educating and building human capital through education, as he spoke to students who were looking at a second chance at education and could not have any way of meeting the tuition fee. So um, we worked flat out trying to accommodate everybody's um, you know, wishes. So uh, with Asia Pacific Institute, uh, the last two weeks has been a very hectic week for us. And um, we are happy that uh, we, are, we are working to help uh, people to prosper. And they use us as a stepping stone for the prosperity. And um, we're happy to do that because their prosperity is the country's prosperity. Mr. Gamu is affectionately known as Why by Nogat, his signature call meaning why not in Tok Pisin. This, however, is just a shell of why Mr. Gamu continues to give, given that his college motto is no dream or aspirations shall be shattered. Well, first of all, anybody can come up with fantasy, you know, like ideas. But we are not, we don't want to be fantasy. We want to be real. So when we say leaving no one behind, we're seriously concerned. We don't want to leave anyone behind at all. So that's why when all the students have enrolled, they've gone in, we still have students hanging around. So I have to sit in with them and I have to find out what is your real problem, you know? How can I help you, you know? Why is it important for you to get educated, you know? And if I see it is seriously true, and it's seriously important that I make sure I assist this person to get educated. The college has aligned itself with provincial governments and other institutions with pathways overseas. Um, we were lucky to have a couple of uh, MOAs signed this year. Um, we signed an MOA with the um, uh, Southern Islands Provincial Government uh, to sponsor students from, they've agreed to sponsor students from the end, and uh, they've given us uh, 200 students. So. Um, the 100 will go to the skills training and 100 will go to the um, long-term training. The school has been training our technical and skilled Papua New Guineans for the last eight years and many have gone on to contribute to nation building. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.